So, I had big plans. I had big plans to finally clean up this yard. Uh, instead, all I've done is move everything around. Uh, I did wash this, but then I had to pull it out of my garage because I've just bought a new project. Uh, it's not here. My new project is at the junkyard, but I'll go there now and we can see it. I have been waiting for this update for a while. And it's finally here. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to get this home and uh, just kind of try and fix it up enough that we can replace this car. Because, I mean, I love this car, it's done us very good, but it's starting to show its mileage a bit. But before I bring it home, can I get this out? Thank you. I am going to quickly see if I can... Yeah, I need a passenger door. I'm just going to see if I can find one. Quickly. This wolf needs everything. Uh, brakes, suspension, engine, all of it. So that's what we're going to do. Get the door, throw it in the back, and let's try and drive home. Hopefully this car starts today. It's a habit of not doing that. Good. And then let's hope that we can tow it. Somebody suggested that I've been having problems with the trailer because I leave the hook on. Uh, that actually makes sense. So I'm trying it without the hook. We'll see how it goes. This seems like a lot of car to be putting on a trailer and towing, but... Uh, ah, this thing is towed worse home. I don't know if that's a flat tire I've got on the back, but... Uh, Uh, hopefully it's not. It's got me a little concerned now. Oh no. Three. Good. Now oh, I need to drive carefully along this road. The amount of times I've flipped the car off a trailer here is too many to count. Ah. There's also a new pad dealer on the map. Uh, let's see if I can see him, actually. Yeah, there he is. It's a uh, scapegoat. Right. I've got it home. I did uh, fall off the trailer one more time. But having a look at it, I do actually have a flat tire at the back. So, kind of glad that we're working on a new car here. Uh, the trailer really wants to go sideways, so I kind of need to... Oh, I stalled, but can I fix it? Come on, bump. Bump. Yes, there we go. I need to kind of aim this not where I want it to be. Oh, wow. I think this has a mind of its own. Okay, come on. Garage, yes, that's pretty much perfect. Right, let's stop it there. Offload this wondrous new car. Uh, trailer brake, ow. Should be able to just push it off. Then I'm going to immediately go and buy four wheels for this car. And I'm going to check out that new part stealer. I am curious about it. Throw one tire on and then let's kind of have a look at this car. What we need. To be honest, if I jack up that back end, I can fit a wheel on. Looks like I have most of a hub. I need to go higher. Just don't want that jack to slip out. Maybe. Nope. Uh, I have another jack. And flip that in under this. Okay, and attach. Uh, 
And I think I can even just do the other side while it's like this. Strictly putting these wheels on so I can maneuver it around garage. And tighten those up. I think rear wheels should be enough. I don't know if it has a handbrake, so I do want some resistance. Chuck that out the way, get this down on the ground. Perfect. Probably going to be quite low. Yep. Bring it up. Now. What do we need? Uh, this for the front subframe. Front, loosen the engine bolt. And she should just come off. Nice. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna replace everything here. But not the subframe. Tends to be quite an expensive part. Well, how many bolts holding this in? Jeez. There we go. One. That flicking bolts until everything falls off. I want all new parts, no recycling here. Oh. And this rear subframe actually kind of looks like it's in pretty good shape. All things considered. Let's get a look at it. Well, as I said before, I want to replace everything, but honestly, I would feel bad doing that. Ah, doesn't matter. I'm going to strip this down, and I'll meet you back at that stealer, I guess. All right. Let's see how buying parts here works. I'm not sure where they're going to spawn or how it's going to work. I brought my subframe for the rear and for the front. I see I've left the control arm on there. Uh, let's just get that off. I, I really, 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 really want new parts all around. I don't want to recycle anything. I say as I buy used parts. Right, so we need car, wolf. Nothing specific. How does that work with body? Um. Oh yeah, I see. Okay, it specifies wagon. Good. Right. We want. Five, seven, eight of those, two of those, uh, one of that, one of that, one of that, one of that, two of those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can I get raised suspension? One, two, two. And then that, two of those, oh sh right, two of those, one of those, brakes, we need one, one, no, one, 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 two, one, two, three, four. Okay, where are my parts? Okay. Uh, I hope when I pick them up here, 
physics isn't going to apply to all of them at once. I'm going to buy a drive shaft too. Just to check the condition of the ones that's on. Yeah, they're bad. Two of those. Two. Good. That one then, I guess, is removing the half axles. I'm, I'm leaving the diff on because... I'm, how bad can the diff be, really? Don't even know what goes wrong. Diff fails. I guess it's a thing we will find out. Maybe. Oh, I missed the bolt. Oh yeah, underneath. Yeah. Took that away. Now, I'll do... Just try to do both of them at the same time here. Uh, new half shaft. Are you gonna go in? Or do I need to put other stuff? Oh, good. Uh, hopefully I can kind of beat the darkness here. Oh no, I can just sleep in my car, that's fine. But, don't really want to do that. Uh, I swear I bought another axle, I have no idea where it's gone. Okay. Or control arm for the rear. Good. Another lower control arm. Good. Carrier rear. Or control arm thumb. Four bolts holding it in. Side. I think the shock absorbers attached to the car itself. So we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. This mounts here. Good. This. Hub carrier rear right. That's the home, that's home, 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 and home. Okay, slap a bunch of these things on. On. Four on each side, if I remember right. Been a long time. May, I think, was the last time I dealt with a wolf. Well, hopefully I'm doing this right. Right. That's the front subframe and the rear subframe. Perfect. Oh, the engine. I need... Let's see. All engines. I-60, I need... Ah. Gonna very carefully go through this. Yeah. Turbo? Turbo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not knowing if there's a different gas tank wagon, I'm just bait on that. Don't know if I need to buy the air filter because I'm going turbo. I think it's single cam. Uh, I think I got a turbo exhaust mount. Bottle Greeley, head gasket, what? Oh, whoa, 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 no, don't want to inject this. Uh, right, belt tensioner and that one, five, six, that, that, and that. I bought some non turbo pads. It's unfortunate, doesn't matter sleep to get some daylight the car is gone so i really have to make this work now uh i hope we can step one is going to be finding the crankshaft i'm 
Seven, eight. What was that that was rolling around half shafts? This is just covered in half shafts. Oh, is this the other one that I didn't get put in? I'll definitely remember about that later. Right, pistons. I'm gonna like to get all the pistons in before I tighten them up. If I can get away with that. There is a lot of stuff here. Also spent a lot of money on this so far. Maybe I should have just gone for guard parts again. Kinda curious if uh how my little car will be with a diesel angel. Maybe I should build one for that. Four, five, six. Yeah, there's an oil pan here somewhere. These belts are just iron. Oh. Right, head gasket. I would like it to stand up straight. Okay, gasket. Head. Camshaft here somewhere. There she is. Holy crap, how many bolts does it need? And 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Next, we'll do. I don't think I need to be in the head anymore, so let's just put the cover on. And it kind of looks like we have a complete engine. Now, next thing I would like is to put on. That just bolts there. And I need M shaft. I wonder if the crank has a sprocket. Hope that doesn't need to be tightened down. It does. Yep, it did. That was okay. Uh, right. Yep, I think I see it down there. Yes, I do. And we take the time and chain. Boom. Time and cover. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. now I'm into kind of unknown territory. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Dust money for the football one, to be honest. Which one is? I think that one's the turbo one. Ah, but before I do that, I want to put injectors in. So. Uh, I need this the other way around. Like, no, oh, oh, you stupid thing. Right, like that. Uh, it'll do. Let's get these tightened and then the fan can go. Okay, I think this goes on the back somewhere. Yep. Then we put the filter in and close. Not much left now. We have the 
alternator bracket can I reach it nope alternator that's just the same one that every other car uses nice fuel pipes not sure how these tighten. Is it on the injector? No. Is it on the pump? Three, four, five, six. And the belt. Boom. Ooh, I'm missing. Ooh, I know what I'm missing. Uh, let's put the fuel belt in first. Spanner. There we go. Titan. Titan, and then the belt tensioner, which I should have done last, first, whatever. That is a working engine. I'll put the downpipe on later. Throw that in. Throw this in. Lop that in. Okay, I can pick up all this stuff later. Uh, let's just pick it up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Yeah, I'll sort that out later. Oh, ho, ho, then I've got enough room. Stuff gonna fall out if I start smashing this down the highway. Let's go outside view. Keep an eye on it. Check that it didn't leave anything. Looks good. Okay. To the house. Put this onto the car. We should have a working car. Uh, depending on the time. Might go for some more scapegoat parts. 11 o'clock, no matter. Now, I do want to be careful here. Right, I'll catch you back at the house. Right, let's get these parts out and load it in. Uh, I am just going to quickly check the oil. I would say that is starting to turn. Uh, I'm glad to see everything survived. Before I forget, I'm going to put the other half shaft in. Okay, you know what? No, I'm not. I am going to get the engine out of this first. I think it is just the gearbox holding this thing in right now. One bolt up top. I cannot see, so I need to lower it down. Uh, yep, no, yep, there we go. Nope, fuel line. Uh, ooh, I never remember where that is now. I think that's it. Yep, engine out. Engine not out. Fuel line, wire, there is no wire. I've missed the bolt somewhere. Get the gearbox again before I jack it all the way up. There we go. I just needed to tighten and loosen it again. Right, that is junk. This is not junk. But I need the subframe in before I can attach it. That's no problem. I've got a finished subframe right here. Which needs to be welded into place. Easy enough. Now I can put my engine in. Bolt it down. Put a lag. There we go. 
I know I'm missing a starter, but I actually found one in a barn the other day. Okay. But, yep, there it is. Yeah, so that goes there. Tighten it all up. Throw that out. I know that starter's got another bolt. Okay. Half shaft. In you go. Couple of bolts in, I'll get the rest done. Once it's inside the car. Do I need to repair the bodywork? No. I do not. That shock absorber needs to come out. Not going to absorb much. Uh, other side? No, other side's fine. Front? Yeah, the front has a bad shock. Only on one side, though. Right. Uh, next, we'll do this. And uh, there's so much going on down here that I can't really see. I think the shock has one bolt at the bottom and one at the top. If it has more than that, well, um, somebody will tell me. Okay, and then rear shocks. Do those. Uh, uh, need those out. Right. Still getting used to using that backpack. It's a brilliant feature that I just don't use enough. Uh, the reason that I've gone for the higher springs, by the way, is because I know that I'm going to end up going and picking up barn finds and whatnot. And they're really good for that, basically. That's it. That's the only reason. Okay. Rear spring. Still need to do the brake lines. Why won't you fit? Spring, rear, that, there we go. Oh dear. Left an old broken spring on. Get rid of that. Okay. Before we have any incidents, I'm going to put the wheels on. Do I need to remove stuff here? I do. Shouldn't be too hard. I need to go one, three, four, five, and bolt that in. Do one more wheel. Where did I put it? Uh, please don't tell me there's already a drive shaft. Good. I need to get the ball tightened. Good. That'll do. You line. And wires. I've got my ground, my alternator, starter, and I need my battery, which I bought. 
one, two. If there is fuel in this thing, it should start. And I'm gonna try it. I don't think there's fuel. There's even a fuel tank. I don't even know where the wolf fuel tank goes, to be honest. Uh, but that tells me there is no fuel tank. So, so I took a look. And as it turns out, the gas can for a wagon is very specific. There we go. I did read something on the Discord about it. I honestly didn't pay enough attention. But I... I know now. I need a specific gas can. Now, I do have this, and I... I don't actually know if it has fuel in it or not. We shall see. So we open that, pull the lid off, and grab this. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Filling. Should be enough to get it to go. Uh, right, so. Open the key. Yes, there we go. One functioning car. Do we have cooling lower hose? We go all cars, wolf, all engine, I six D. We go lower. There we go. Then I need to do the usual charade of oil and water. One. Oh, the tick mark. There we go. Tighten that up. Right, we have an engine. Do we have steering? Do. Uh, do we have a full steering system? We do, so I need to do the brakes. Just two bolts here. Pull that out. Buy a new cylinder. Brakes. Buy a line and a master cylinder. So when you buy it from the part dealer, that was $90. I just paid 140 that That's Pretty decent discount, and well worth going and finding them when you're uh, building on a budget. Uh, should increase profit margins on complete builds as well. That's a good feature that's been added. Pretty happy with that. Okay. Navigate the complicated wolf suspension to tighten my brake lines down. Then I need to track down my missing wheel. Can't be far away. Right, there we go. Four wheels on my car. that they are all tight. Good. And then the last fluid that I've got to put in is brake fluid. Hopefully this isn't an empty container. It's not. But once this is full, we'll get it off the lift. I will Reattach that door and then we'll go and investigate the last new feature of this update. There's apparently a car wash or something like it. We'll go check that out. 
save me having to do it. Okay, I need to put air in the tires. So, I've been over this car top to bottom, I replaced the gearbox, I didn't need to, but we are now a manual car. I installed the gear stick, I replaced the diff, I checked every bolt and half shaft, the car would not drive. Turns out, all I had to do was save and reload the game. But... Without any more delay, we are going to take up a test drive. Mm, seems good. Oh, wow. Ooh, tail happy. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Too powerful? Ooh, it's very bumpy. Mm, I wonder if that's because I've got the high suspension in. Oh wow, I wish I had a speedometer to see how quick it was going. It certainly feels quick. Uh, I have no dashboard because it didn't work. So I just took it out. It was $200 for a new one. I'll go to the cheap parts place and buy a dashboard there. Uh, not knowing if I'm overheating or anything, I'm just gonna go easy. At least until I get my dashboard. Uh, I've maxed it out already. Ooh, okay. Uh. Oh yeah, this thing's very tail happy. Maybe the lock diff is not such a good idea. Anyway, on our way to the town, which is where the part dealer is today. I'll just jump in here. And clean my car. Magnificent. Don't know why I don't have a UI though. Mm, oh well. No UI in the wagon, I guess. Oh, it's because I don't have the dashboard. That makes sense. Good god, this thing is quick. I think I need to put a different diff in. Because we're just, we are hitting the top speed way too easily. Okay, where are you, scapegoat? Uh, uh, next left, next right, sorry. Here we go. Should be around here somewhere. There he is. Okay. I would like uh wolf did he, uh... oh yeah that's saved a hundred a hundred dollars okay what do we look like get the lights on can't really see oh we have oh wow okay we have no fuel we're going to have to nurse this thing back to the fuel station. Or I go really fast. I think I'll go fast. Ooh, I'm a bit nervous about that.
That was 200. Quite easily. I definitely think we'll build a turbo diesel engine for my other car. It's very... I'm quite scared of turning it. Whoa! I think we need to put different springs on. It's just a little too jumpy for my liking. Okay, let's get some fuel in this thing. Hopefully this is the diesel gun. Yep. And I will paint the car too. I'll paint it. I don't know. I think a kind of yellowy orange color will look good. And there we have it. I've painted it sort of a weird color. I don't actually know what the color is. Uh, FFDA00. FFDA00. So, yep, that's the color. I kind of didn't do the insides of the doors or anything like that, but I'll get that done off camera. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Until next time.